B2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I have a train train chiller here with this CH 530 am I saying it correct tech view here's a tag so I've been having some issues with this unit here I'm gonna show you the errors that I'm getting there's the alarm right here clicking that diagnostic boom all right so that's um the problem i'm getting um but what the reason why i did this video is because i want to show you guys if you're trying to use the tech view software I'm trying to use the tech view tech view software right there to log into the chiller to check your sensors you know the binding all that stuff and you have an issue is you're getting that um, error that's saying the database data database out of date out of date out of date update um, the database make sure you have uh, I'm gonna show you the issue that I found because I was having the same problem right but before getting to the video I want you to go ahead and um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and smash that bell icon so when I upload videos like these you get them right away all right so um, let me go show you where I got the files downloaded. I got them right here. And this um, folder right here. So in other words, if you install, if you just install TechView only, as you can see right there. If you just install TechView, um, you will have that error. More than likely, whether you're doing this chiller or you're doing something else, you know, it don't matter. Um, you will have the error. What you're gonna wanna do is make sure you download the latest service pack and you can see right here this is the latest service pack right here right boom but before you install the service pack right this is key because i just i was going crazy i installed the service pack of the latest the latest that's the latest one there's no newer one on the train website this is the latest one and it still wasn't what my problem was um after i got the arrow i you know i've, I've installed this the 14 right um take view take view 14.0 and then i was I, tr I tried logging in to the chiller and um well you know when i when i log into the chiller try to log in i was getting the arrow uh, saying database out of date all right so then i downloaded this and then i updated it to, to the latest um um service pack for uh you know 14 sp16 but then the problem was it wouldn't land it, 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 it wouldn't launch like i would click on this link right here the icon and it wouldn't launch so what I end up to do, here's how I fix that. I fix it like this. You simply, uh, when you click on that, before you install it, this is a downloaded file. Before you install it, you're gonna like left click, or right click rather, and select run select run uh, in compatible mode where is it troubleshoot compatible compatibility okay is that what it is let me see let me click on that yes yeah, click on troubleshoot compatibility okay good so you click on troubleshoot compatibility compatibility as you see i did there and then click try recommended settings all right, so when you click on that now, you see what happened right here? So now, when you click test program, it's gonna launch it, and it's gonna install your service pack, your updated service pack, but it's gonna do it under Windows 7 compatibility, and then it works. This is the latest Windows, all right? That's, that's on this computer right here. Let me show you what it is. Um, yeah, so, I'm not gonna reinstall it because it's already there, but I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna just execute it. I'm gonna show you what's gonna run. It's gonna just go to run the test program, and it's doing. It's doing literally what it's trying to do is is reinstall service pack um, 16, the latest service pack, right? But I'm not gonna go through with this. I'm just gonna stop it at the end. Um, it's gonna cancel. It comes around to it, but that's why that's how I get it to work. It says you know what I want to repair, modify.
And I was crazy. I was searching like crazy online for a solution. So I figured I'll do this for you guys so you guys can see it if you're a subscriber. Um, damn, what's going on here? There you go. So we're there. So I I gotta simply like I could like remove the program, modify it, repair it. But nonetheless, you get the idea. That's what you gotta do, right? Get the latest service pack. If you are, if you are trying to launch the program, it ain't launching. It ain't launching. It ain't launching at all because you updated the latest um, um, thing version. That's how you fix that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna launch it. Boom boom. It's launching, and then you can see right there. I've got TechView version 14.0 and the service pack 16. So I'm good to go, baby. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the connection view. Um, connection, login. You can see that it works. In this particular chiller. So it was so I was initially with just without the, without the service pack update. I was getting this to this part right here. It was going through, but then when it in the end it says uh database out of date the latest database right so i was going it was doing this and at that point you didn't see the, this um sp16 right there right and like i said when i try to update um up, don't lo um update i updated to the, uh, i installed the service pack and it just wouldn't launch no matter what i did i even tried the windows compatibility stuff from the actual software like the the the, the icon on the desk desktop it, I tried every single version of Windows, it didn't work. Alright, so there you go, Bobby. I'm in. Can you guys see that? You guys can see that. I'm in. So there's a chiller. Um, circuit number one, that's right. That's where I'm at right now. See your numbers. Circuit number two is what I'm having issues with, where the alarm is. You can see that those are off. Okay. Funny enough, I don't see that sensor over here. I'm just gonna go into binding view. But this is what this video was about, just to show you guys, because I was. And if you want to know where to find these softwares for Tech View, just leave that in the comment section. I'll try and I'll just go back to how I did it, and I'll just try to leave that links, leave the links where I find these things in the description or in the comment section. But um, yeah. All right, pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Uh, let's look at circuit number two here. This one has had some issues. Uh, this is a problem right here. Suction temperature, 107. No good. All right, no good. That's the error I'm getting. All I'm getting, that's, there's no way that pipe is that hot. I'll go back there right now and check it. You know what, I'm gonna do that right now. For all of my subscribers. Because if you're still here in this video, if you're up, if you're in the, up this far, if you're still here, you're special, you're very special. So just for that, I'm going to go back there, I'm going to go over the sensors, and I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you that that's temperature sensor right here, and I'm going to um, put my thermometer there, and I'm going to show you. And just so you know, if you're going to want to, if you're going to connect to this chiller right here, um, you got to make sure this is R32, right? It's R32. It's not the same as um, the 485, RS485. It's, uh, it's different. So if you use the RS485 uh, adapter to USB, you're going to destroy the chip. The chip in the, in the adapter right here is going to be destroyed. So you got to, you had, I made a mistake, I made a mistake, and I've used this one, and it's ruined right now. All right, this is ruined. So it's not R422, RS45, it's R232. Am I saying that correct? I think I am. Okay. Um, yeah. So let me go show you real quick where the sensor is. I'm going to actually end it up. Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to end up. Um, replacing the sensor. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, let's go. All right, so it's all the hair. I'm gonna use my thermometer right here and I'm gonna stick this on the pipe 
And I know it's not it's not 170. If you remember you saw 170 degrees up there, this pipe is not that hot. Because the chill water temperature is about 50, 50 in the 50s. You got one circuit working. And all these are your electronic LEDs or electronic expansion valves. Um, but yeah, so it's like 90 degrees, like it's way off. You know, I could reset the circuit, it will run, but it will trip after a while. Here you go. Okay, so I think the sensor is just faulty. I'm gonna just replace it. Um, when you do replace these sensors, you're gonna to have to use a computer to bind them to the chiller. Because out of the box, it won't work. You have to do the binding. Go into the binding view and you gotta you gotta rebind, you gotta bind a new sensor. Okay. You have to unlock it, it's a magnet, it's a spot on here where you gotta hold a ma hold a magnet to it to activate it while you're doing the binding process. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna close this video off. Like I said the video was just to show you how to get in here. Um, like I said, if you if you got questions like where to find these tech view software, leave it on the comment section because I had a search for a while to get it. I had it before and then I like removed it, I got changed computers and then I didn't have those stuff anymore. So this is a brand new computer. If you're like following me on my channel, uh, you, you'd have seen that I was using other laptops for work before. This is, this is brand new. I recently got this. So all my stuff on the other computer, you know, I got lost because the computer got damaged and I had no backup. So including TechView. So I had, to, I had to get all my files back. Um, this is pretty much pretty much good to go right now I got everything on there I got Yabe I got the maintenance tool for Mr. Bishi um, I got uh, here, here's tech view right there there's the LG there's the um, Samsung VRFs and this right here is for uh, Aeon units um, there's a couple more things that I I, I, uh, I need to get on here but for right now it's pretty good I gotta get out to get Day King the Day King um, service tool in here as well um, software but yeah guys I'm gonna close this video off if you like it give it a big thumbs up and if you have not subscribed do so right now this laptop is pretty cool too man like it's, it's actually a tablet let me show you that real quick I, I love I love this laptop right here as you, as you can see I can flip it over to tablet mode tablet mode right it's like a tablet and it has a camera on there too the camera here has a camera on the back there so I can use it as a full tablet right and it's touch screen and all so I could touch any part on the screen you able to see it touch any part on the screen Yeah, so it's the cool thing about it, like I said, it's touch screen. So you can touch the screen. So this is the sensor I was looking at. Is it circuit one or circuit two? Circuit one. Circuit two. So here's the sensor we're looking at. Suction. This one right here. Oh, that's not the one. This was the one. Oh, wait a minute. Look at it. Just by touching that sensor, you see what happened right here, guys? That went down to... 58. Uh, that's that told you I think is definitely bad. No, no, no. I'm looking at the wrong thing. This is it right here. What am I saying? Suction pipe temperature right here. I'm getting all excited right here. <laughs> yeah, this is the one. That's the one. You see the pipe temperature is like 89 degrees. So it's like 89. It's like 30. Almost 30 degrees higher than normal. Um, yeah. And this laptop it has a, it's a stylus here. I can touch the screw with the stylus. Boom. Right? This thing is awesome, man. All right, well, I'm gonna close this video off. Again, if you got questions regarding this tech view, or getting into the tech view, getting the software, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just, 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 just comment in the comment section. All right, I'm gonna close this off.